Hey everyone, it's Michelle Angeli, Truth and Integrity Warrior. Today is September 15th, 2021. And today what I want to talk about is how to remove heart pain, like physical heart agony. Uh, well, we carry from a heartbreak and we can't get rid of. Uh, this shit will last sometimes forever and then we just bury it under a rug. And we don't know how to release and actually get rid of that block, that heart pain. And it's done energetically. And when we do that energetically, we remove something physically that's on an energetic level. We end up leveling up as a human being. And what I mean by leveling up is our vibration changes. And a lot of us understand that what we have on the inside is the soul. And the soul is the energy. And what we have on the outside is the physicality. So we're two sides to one coin. And if we don't learn how to balance the soul where the emotion and the energy is kept, then we're going to be running amok for the rest of our lives. And that's what we're all doing. And so I take it upon myself to make these videos so that I can heal through my experience. Uh, a lot of you know that I, I post my journey through love with David, my twin soul, which they call twin flame. Trust me, I didn't believe that shit was real either. So I started living some real deep experiences that I'll be posting in other videos to show you that uh, angels and demons, the divine, you know, there's some real things going on behind the scenes that we can't see because it's on an energetic level. So this is where my journey through love with David and the pain that that shit caused me forced me to look at change up and I recognizing that I'm leveling up, that I'm transforming into something greater than I was. And so it is my duty to show you what I have learned from myself through this experience. And right now it's going to be how to remove this feeling of not being able to forgive. You know, we may say we forgive, but we don't feel we forgive because that shit fucking hurts. It's too painful to forgive because we're so fucking mad at the situation and the other i'm gonna do a, a little combo in the in this video a couple weeks later i had to release loneliness you know i'm five years uh, four years single no sex no, nobody touching me no relationships and then i go into two relationships i dated somebody for three three dates and they showed me uh they didn't want anybody to know i was with them you know, they want nobody to know. I felt a lot of rejection. And so I stopped dating that person. And then I meet David. And then I go to fucking absolute denial, rejection, um, embarrassment, shame, fucking ridicule. We can go into story by story. I ain't going to give it all up at once because this is almost like a TV series. You know, I got a lot to put out there. Um, and I can't do it all at once. I can't do it all at once. So I'm just going to do it experience by experience episode by episode but this is transformational information and i hope that it can help you as it has helped me and so there is a physical process a step-by-step -step action to take to be able to remove an energy a feeling that we can't fucking get rid of because we just bury it we just act like okay that shit's a pass leave it get a drink let's go move forward you know success we're fucking lying to ourselves we're fucking lying to ourselves because deep down inside what we do is we build up the walls of ego you know and then we start blocking our love and then the next person that we meet we push them away because we were pushed away from the last person and then this domino effect happens and then it's all a big fucking mess you know big fucking mess in love nobody has love nobody wants to show nobody wants to share everybody got their equal walls up trying to break the next motherfucker down before they break me down that kind of attitude and we got to stop that shit we got to stop it because it's breaking us down as a species so the vibration of love comes from the heart not the brain but the heart and the heart has a vibration a charge of energy that we don't know we have it's a power it's real I'm experiencing it. So I'm going to share what I have learned step by step, video by video. So to do this work, I find it to be imperative for our species. Because if we don't rise up, we ain't going to level up. And this evil, this negative that is consuming our world is going to break us the fuck down. 
and we're going to lose this fucking battle. A lot of you don't believe in the battle between good and evil, and a lot of you do. And this is my journey through love that helped me recognize the totality of it. The totality of it. So, not to go any deeper into that, I'll do that in other episodes. Um, probably my next episode, it'll be how to see the divine and how to see evil, how to recognize them and to see how they're working underneath the species and how we're being used by evil, becoming, embodying that negativity, projecting that negativity, and it's blocking our heart sensor, it's blocking our heart vibration, and that's fucking changing our world into something negative. And so we got to bring this up. We got to turn this thing around. We got to flip this into the right direction for the well-being of our species. So now, how do we do this? Enough of the talk. I got my list right here. I want to make sure I don't get off a topic because I'm good at that. <laughs> got a lot of things to say. Uh, forgiveness and loneliness. How did I remove those two emotions? From my heart and like that like bang, gone just like fucking from one second to the next just gone and so that way you can actually move forward with real peace genuine peace to say i forgive oh i forgive because i can feel this forgiveness in my heart you know i'm gonna run the fuck down but i can forgive and i'm gonna show you how that's done um I'm going to say the one plus two equals three version of this so that it's understood what has to be done in a sequence to be able to release, to be able to release an energy. It's almost like removing on a complete, I'm going to give an example. It's like removing old files into the trash bin in your computer. They have to be physically moved from this location to this location, disposed of, and then that also has to get disposed of. You know, we got to clean that up. And so energy and emotions work the same way because emotions are energy. You know, physicality, we feel. Emotions, we sense. And so there's a difference. And so I recognize that for me to be able to, to recognize that there is a, step-by-step -step process it had to happen it happened to me twice and i recognized that it was the same process i did for the first one happened in the second one and the same effect happened and that effect was the fucking feeling was gone just gone like vanished i went from deep fucking agony like fucking agony to just gone like how the fuck did it just leave like that and i recognized that I did the same process without even becoming, without even being aware. I wasn't aware that I was doing it until I reflected afterwards on the second time. And the second time was when I was trying to release this fucking loneliness, you know? Just being lonely for so many years. Not being touched, not being cared for, and not being able to touch or care for somebody else. That shit gets fucking lonely. <sighs> Give me a second. That shit's for real, you know? It's for real. Let me adjust the light on this thing right here a little bit. All right, so the steps. What are these three steps that I recognize I did and how I recognize they just went away? I'll go into the story of the dramatics of how I went through the process after I tell you what those three steps are. For those of you who just want to hear it, leave, not hear the rest of the video. It is, first we have to accept the feeling. Accept the feeling that we got. In that case, I'm talking about not being able to forgive. I got to accept that I can't fucking forgive. Accept that feeling. And then I got to release the control over that feeling. I have to fucking release. Because I want it the fuck gone. But I can't get rid of something I don't accept to be. So if I don't accept that I have this shit, I can't fucking release. I can't release it. So first is the acceptance of the feeling, and then it's the released control over that feeling. Because we want to control every fucking thing. You know, I'm going to feel like this about it, and I'm going to do like this about it, I'm going to act like that about it. we got to fucking release control. Well, guess what? We cannot release control unless we surrender. we got to fucking surrender. And let me tell you, I'm one of these people where I don't fucking surrender. I, gotta, I don't fucking surrender. I don't stand down. I might fucking be down, but I will not stand out. There's a big difference. But when I'm talking about this kind of surrender, 
I'm talking about surrender to believing that we know what the fuck we're doing because we don't. We don't. If we did, we wouldn't be in this fucking situation. You know, we wouldn't. Our emotions wouldn't be all over the fucking place. But we got to surrender. And we say, well, we're surrendering to what, Michelle? What are we surrendering to? You know, some people are religious, some are not. What are we surrendering to? It's the surrendering of the control. And that surrender, it can be to yourself. Just fucking surrender to yourself. Quit trying to fucking act like you know. Just quit. Just fucking stop. I surrender to myself. I want to release the control of this fucking feeling that I've accepted. It's time to fucking let it go. Because what it was, where it's been, it's been in my heart and I want it fucking gone. And what ends up happening is when we go through that process, it literally fucking leaves. So if we don't put in the information, we ain't going to get the result. So it kind of works. I'm going to use a computer analogy because it's so easy to, to use computers to understand what processes I'm talking about. So if we don't put in the search engine what we want, we are not going to get that result. So if we don't tell our soul, because it's fucking listening, it's consciousness, it's aware, it needs direction. You know, like the mouse, the mouse gives a direction to the screen to know where it's going, to know where it's navigating, where our attention is at navigation, right? Our attention is the one moving, but we need to direct and tell it what to do, what we want done. And what we want is to release what we accept to be. And we release that control with surrender. Now you may surrender to Yeshua, you may surrender to Archangel, you know, your Archangels, just fucking surrender is all I'm trying to say. Surrender to love, you know? Surrender the vibration of love. Love, we have been told that it is weak. It's a weak vibration, but that's a setup. It's a setup against our species to make sure that we stay away from love because we all want to fucking be strong, right? We all want to be strong. But love is the greatest fucking vibration there is. And I'm going to show you video after video. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about because I'm recognizing it for myself. I'm feeling it for myself. It literally is power. Absolute power. But we have a heart blocked off, you know, with the walls of ego. I did a video in the back a uh, couple, couple weeks back where I'm talking about breaking down the walls of ego so we can feel again. So we can share our heart with the next person, but we become more aware of who we're sharing that heart with. You know, my son, my oldest son, Jacob, he says, Mom, it's like a lion's belly. You know, you see the lion's belly is right there, but you can't fucking touch it because that lion will rip your fucking face off. Gone. You know, gone. So you can be vulnerable, but you can't fucking step up. You can't, you can't touch it. And that's what we have to learn to do is our heart is here and we can feel 100% because we break down the walls of ego. We've learned to have self-love, self-care. Self-awareness for the importance of that personal respect and personal care for ourselves. And now when we have to remove these feelings we can't fucking let go of. is because literally it's stuck in an energetic field. Like a fucking bad file that we can't get rid of unless we put it in the damn trash. But we got to find it. And then we got to take it. Recognize. And so, those are the steps. Accept the feeling. So that it can be released. And you release that control of how to manage that feeling by surrendering. And we surrender to ourself. We surrender to love. Or we surrender to the Almighty. You find what is best for you to release, but to take it away. And it works just like that. And so for those of you who just want to stop right here and take that information and run with it, those are the steps and it works. I'll tell you, it's just like childbirth. Now, unless you had a natural child uh, or childbirth naturally, you don't know the fucking excruciating pain of 33 hours of labor, 10 pound baby being ripped open and a big old baby being popped out. And then the the agony and the fucking pain, so much pain, you're vomiting on the side, you know, while you're trying to give birth. And as soon as that baby comes out and it's on your lap or it's in your arms, all that pain is fucking gone. 
just fucking disappears. A lot of people don't know that or a lot of people don't share that information or just people, people in general are not aware of that, but the pain is just gone. And I always wondered how, how I'm still fucking bleeding out, but I don't feel no pain, you know, because I got my baby in my arms. And that love just kicks in and it's a real vibration. It's a real vibration that takes over everything. Absolutely takes over everything. And it takes over pain. That's why that pain can be released. So, how did I find this? This is for people who want to hear the video a little longer and say, okay, well, Michelle, how'd you get there? How'd you feel that? How'd you discover this? How'd you make this discovery? When I got rid of uh, not having um, appreciation for myself, right? I got a video again. Uh, I'll post them at the end so that you guys can see a playlist of my journey through love with David uh, and how I went through all these different stages of breaking down these walls, of releasing uh, what it is, my childhood past pains that was reflecting in why I accepted so much bullshit in this relationship, right? The bullshit I was accepting in my relationship with David was actually from pains in my past, pain of my childhood that was mirroring through David to me. And I recognized that that was my process, something I needed to face so that I could heal. Uh, I was aware of this before. I got into a relationship uh, with David that that is why people go through pains is for self-reflection, self-awareness. Because once we have that self-awareness, we just walk away from that hole in the ground, right? We walk away from that fucking trouble because we can see it before we get there. But in this case, um, David, I knew he was a fucking train wreck. I knew he was fucking dangerous uh, on multiple levels. And I'll get into that into other uh, videos of why I accepted to walk down this journey, this path with, um, with David being such a fucking mess, being such a mess. Um, and he's a good soul. Don't get me wrong. David's a beautiful soul. When you listen to him talk, he's a, he's a, he's a light, but that light got caught in the darkness. I mean, some heavy fucking darkness. And I hope that these videos help him grow his soul, so that he can manage, recover, restore himself through his own redemption. Because that's what this all is about. We have to redeem ourselves. We have to redeem our souls because we're all on the same level of a degree line, just to different degrees of the same shit, right? Different degrees of the same shit. So as we're judging one another, we're not recognizing that we're on the same degree line, just at a different degree. So the judgment is not necessary. This It's actually we're judging a reflection of ourselves to a different degree. And we got to stop that shit. Um, going back. How did I find this? How did I find uh, how to forgive? Or how to forgive David? So I'm doing my push-ups and I'm, you know, I just got over ego. And I just got over how to um, have self-worth. Uh, looking at rejection from my past. And now... I think I'm good. I think I'm fucking I'm so much better, right? I'm fucking I've leveled up. I'm doing great. So I started doing some push-ups uh in my house and I put my playlist on Spotify. I got a bunch of different playlists, right? One of those playlists is a playlist I have with David and uh, that I made with David when I was out there in Pennsylvania visiting him uh for the first time. And obviously I wasn't playing that shit. I wasn't gonna play that. So I played up my um I don't know, my beast mode music, right? So I'm fucking doing my push-up. And then my fucking playlist literally switches up on its own and goes to David's playlist. And one of his songs come, comes on, right? And my fucking heart felt like I just got fucking knocked the fuck out from my back to my chest. Hit my heart, fucking face planted right on the floor. I started fucking wailing and crying. I'm like, what the fuck? What the fuck? I was like, what the fuck am I feeling? Because this intense feeling of anger came on to me and pain at the same time. So it was anger and pain. And the anger was that he cheated on me, you know, and didn't give a fuck about it. And the fucking embarrassment of putting him on social media and being rejected twice by him. 
fucking posted him twice and twice he fucking rejected me feeling like a fool so i got all these fucking feelings inside right and i'm like i can't forgive that motherfucker but at the same time i long for him at the same time i fucking love him i ain't no fucking bullshit you i ain't shame fucking remember I, I i'm becoming a master at losing these fucking old fucked up emotions i'll be truthful about how i feel so I got this conflicting fucking feeling inside of me and I'm just fucking dying. I'm fucking crying. Remember, I'm on the floor from where I was doing push-ups or fucking face flat on the fucking ground. I'm picking myself up and I'm fucking struggling and I'm going over to the bed and I'm pulling myself out like if I was fucking drowning in water, right? I'm fucking doing my best to pull myself up and I'm just like, what the fuck is happening? I'm fucking suffering. I'm fucking suffering. I'm crying, I'm yelling, I'm saying all these things, and I'm like, why the fuck am I suffering? What do I have to do? Remove this fucking pain from my heart. What do I have to do? And I talk like that. And actually, it's actually louder than that. <laughs> but what do I have to do? And in that, I said, I don't fucking forgive David. And I have to forgive him. Because if I don't forgive him, I cannot fucking be free. I'm not forgiving David for David. To be free. I'm forgiving David so I can be free. So my heart space has space for love. And not regret. And not jealousy. And not pain. And not all these other feelings that I broke down. When I broke down the ego. Right? And so right here I got this I cannot forgive feeling inside. And so here I think I'm done, right? I think I'm done with my healing process, but no, that emotion came up and I had to face it. So on my knees, I'm saying, what am I supposed to do with this feeling? I said, I have to, I have to fucking accept that I have to forgive him. I have to forgive him for me. And in that, I'm recognizing that I'm accepting that feeling. And I say, I want to let it go. And I surrender. Fucking surrender. I don't want to pretend like I know what I'm doing and I want to control the situation. I fucking just let go. I forgive you, David. And I love you. I fucking love you. And I'm saying those words at the same time. All that agony, all the fucking tears, all the fucking mocos coming out of my face, you know, all of that. Weight, because it's a weight that you feel, you know, a weight in your heart, just gone. And I remembered when I had my one of my babies, and it was one of my most excruciating ones because it was natural. And I remember how that felt. I recognized that the pain was just gone like that. I was like, wow. That was beautiful. That was fucking beautiful. And so when I say I can forgive David, I literally feel that. I can forgive David because I freed up my, my heart space. And my heart space is going to be for the next person. You know, it's not going to be damaged and break that next person who doesn't fucking deserve it. Who doesn't deserve it. So I can tell you that as a refreshing feeling, right? But I don't recognize that there's a process. There's these step-by-steps, right? A couple weeks later, I'm in my house and um, I'm feeling lonely as fuck. Just fucking lonely. Just like, what the fuck? I don't know. A lot of people don't know, but I live in the middle of Mexico, in the middle of nowhere. The closest city is two hours away. There are no one. There is no one I'm interested in this whole town. I mean, just like nobody. The town is itty bitty. There is no pickings to choose from. And I'm just fucking alone on a desert fucking island, right? And there's nobody to communicate with because everybody shares everybody's information. And so I learned to shh, shh, Keep a mouth shut, right? And so I'm dying of fucking loneliness. And this loneliness was so deep that again, I start fucking crying. I'm by myself. I'm just like, oh, it's just coming out. I feel my fucking soul coming out, right? And I still can't get that communication, that love, that feeling, that contact with an, another human being. Damn, do I recognize now how important it is to have communication between human beings. So fucking important. I've never been alone for so long, right? So finally all caught up to me. Uh, so many years of just solitude. And um, again, I go through the process. I again 
I say I accept this fucking loneliness. I accept it. Doesn't mean I want it, but I fucking recognize it. And I'm gonna take this loneliness in only so that I can fucking let it go. Because I don't want it anymore. I don't want this loneliness. And so, again, in releasing the control and saying I fucking surrender. I surrender. I surrender control of how I'm supposed to feel and what's next on my agenda to make this go away. I just accept that the divine is going to make sure that I walk the right path to get me to where I gotta go. And those are the words that I said. I release this control and I surrender to the divine. That's it. But first I had to accept my loneliness. And that loneliness, I, I'm telling you, that loneliness was so deep that it wasn't just my life here that I've been living for so many years. It's a loneliness, I felt it generational. I felt loneliness from lifetimes. Loneliness from lifetimes, that's how deep it was. And I guarantee you I fucking released and let them go. I broke the fucking chains because that's what they are. We have chains bound to our soul, no matter if we're reborn again and when we're reborn again, if you believe or do not believe, and it, it is chains to the soul and those chains to the soul bind us and they direct and navigate our actions and we don't recognize it. And I will tell you simply, just by the phone that, that we're all used to using, you know, our cell phones. I'm going to give you an example so you can see what I'm talking about. The simplicity of it, but yet it's in our face and we can't even fucking see it because it's not brought to our attention. A phone has electrical operations within it. The exterior is its physicality. Both of them work together to give you something physical to hold so that something electrical can connect from here to the other side of the world invisibly, right? And so we are physicality, we are matter. We are electric and we are soul. And that electric soul has certain steps of operation for it to work. But I will tell you, if your phone's Electrical's not working. You don't got good apps. You don't got good service. You ain't got shit for a phone. And so we're walking around because we ain't shit with our soul because we don't even fucking recognize it. And so we're clashing and we're breaking and we're hurting and we're destructing ourselves and our world. Because there's something evil out there making sure that we break down as a species. Now I fucking refuse to stand down. I fucking refuse to stand by and watch this shit happen. And this is why I will not allow negativity to break me. It might bring me the fuck down, but I'm only gonna rise the fuck up. And I'm gonna show you how it's done. This is Michelle Angelique, Truth and Integrity Warrior, reminding everyone that we are mankind. And this is a rise of the species mankind. We will rise, and we're gonna do it with the power of love.